Hello, today I'm going to guide you how to conduct moderated mediation in Smart PLS. Here is the basic mediation model. This model shows that X is predicting Y, whereas M is acting as a mediator between X and Y. It means that an effect is partially or fully passing through M, the mediating variable. And the paths are C path is for main effect and path A and B are for indirect effect. That is mediational effects. So this is what is called mediation. Here you can see the moderation. In this case, the X is predicting Y. Whereas another variable that is moderator variable called Z is intervening the relationship between X and Y. Mean it is controlling the strength and or direction of the effect between X and Y. Or in engineering, we call these effects a signal that it is controlling the signal between X and Y. So this is called moderation. Okay. If we combine the moderation and mediation model in the way that if a Z moderator variable moderates path A of mediation model or path B or path C of mediation model, then the model is called moderated mediation model because there is a moderator that is moderating the relationship A, B or C of the mediation model. In this example, we will discuss this model. You can see on the screen, there is a mediational model in which commitment is predicting satisfaction and communication is acting as a mediator between the relationship of commitment and satisfaction and we will test whether trust means z moderating variable is moderating the relationship path a or not you can either test this on path b and path c as well but for an example i will only test this for path a this is called a moderated mediation model and i'll use smart pls to test this moderated mediation so this is uh, uh, the data I have already loaded in uh, Smart PLS, uh, QQRM sample, and there are 100 records, 100 samples. Here is uh, all indicators, demographic variables, and but these all are indicators are uh, not used in this example. We will use this uh, communication, six indicators, satisfaction, four indicators, and commitment, four indicators, and trust, six indicators. Now I am going to draw this model, the moderated mediation model. But first we will test the basic mediation to see whether there is a mediation in the basic model or not. Here I am uh, aligning it right so that it looks a bit clearer. This is commitment. I am trying to make uh, model more clear and presentable. Now I'm going to rename the variables communication, commitment, satisfaction. Now I'll see whether communication is playing a mediational role in this model or not. Commitment to satisfaction and commitment to communication and communication to satisfaction. Now here is the model, I can test it now. Well for this model now I will conduct a path analysis to see what, what are the values of uh, paths. Here is the outcome of path analysis and we can see that uh, 
the relationship between commitment and satisfaction is uh, significant and commitment between communication is also significant and communication and satisfaction is also significant here are the path coefficient and commitment to satisfaction 0 0.035 and you can see that uh, the communication satisfaction effect is uh, greater commitment communication effect is uh, mediocre and uh, commitment and satisfaction effect is little so this is the path analysis of our basic model now i'll conduct the bootstrapping to test the indirect relationships of this basic model make sure to click on do parallel processing and uh, 1000 subsamples no sign changes make sure the path is selected bias corrected intervals are there it will take of course some time to conduct the bootstrapping resampling procedure okay now the results are here in front of you we can see from the diagram that the relationship between commitment and satisfaction is insignificant commitment and communication is significant it is offering full mediation and nothing is passing now through the path commitment and satisfaction and all the signal is passing now all the effect is passing now through communication here you can see the path coefficients communication to satisfaction p value is significant for t statistics commitment communication p value is significant for t statistics and commitment satisfaction p value is insignificant for t statistics going back to the model diagram so this is how i have tested the indirect effects now this relationship is significant now i will enter a fourth variable that is moderated variable into the relationship between commitment and communication this variable is trust and has five indicators I will try to present it in a better way so that everything is clear to you. Okay, I'll rename it trust. Now I'll draw a regression line from trust to communication. And by right clicking and clicking show the effects, all you can see the product terms. So I'll again going to hide these all product terms. Now I'll calculate the bootstrapping. Make sure that these settings are selected and path is there. Start calculation, it will take some time to bootstrap. Well, it's done. Going back to the original diagram, here you can see that uh, the relationship between commitment and satisfaction is uh, insignificant because t value is smaller. Uh, the effect of commitment and communication is significant, and uh, the effect of communication and satisfaction is also significant. But the moderating effect is insignificant. Coefficients, communication, satisfaction, p value significant, communication, p value significant, 
Commitment satisfaction, p-value insignificant, moderating effect is insignificant, and trust to communication is significant. So, we will see that the statistics is insignificant for moderating effect. Therefore, we will conclude that uh, the trust is not uh, moderating the relationship between commitment and communication, and all the signal is still passing through communication that is a mediating variable. Okay, now I have removed uh, the trust variable from the model because it was not moderating. Uh, I am entering the earning into the model. There are four indicators of earning. And now I'll test whether this earning moderating variable is moderating the relationship between commitment or communication or not. I'll rename it earn. Okay, I'll draw the regression line from earning to communication. Now I'll add uh, a moderating effect to test the moderation. Communication is dependent variable, earning is uh, moderator variable, and independent variable is communication. Make sure to have these settings. Okay, moderating effect has been added. Now I'll run bootstrapping to test the indirect and direct effects. Make sure to have these settings. Make sure to select path and click start calculation. It will take some time to conduct a resampling. It's done now. Okay, here you can see the path coefficients. First, look at uh, the diagram, path diagram. Here, the relationship between commitment and satisfaction is insignificant. The relationship between commitment and communication is significant, and communication and satisfaction is also significant. And we can see that we have got a uh, significant moderating effect therefore we can conclude that earning is moderating the relationship between commitment and communication so now the signal passing through the mediating variable communication is moderated by earning here are the path coefficients uh, communication satisfaction significant uh, commitment communication significant commitment satisfaction insignificant earning communication significant and moderating effect is significant at 0 0.10 so the t statistics for moderating effect is significant therefore we can conclude that uh, this moderated mediation model is working perfectly and all the signal is passing through mediating variable and the moderator earning is uh, moderating this mediational effect. This is how the moderated mediation works in smart PLS. I hope you like this video. Uh, please comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.